What's up boys and girls, how's it going? I'm Street and welcome to today's video. As we've seen with the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp case, it's not just women that are on the receiving ends of abuse, it can happen to men too. Though physical and mental abuse on men are fairly less likely reported. I'll show you a clip of a, a couple from Australia, Faisal and Esma, who met on a dating website and then started dating and got married. Making his new bride feel at home, he worked two jobs, spending everything he earned on his wife, from Gucci tracksuits to leather jackets, rings, necklaces, and shoes. I'm sorry, but saying this guy is a provider is a fucking understatement at this point. You know for a fact he's got two jobs. He doesn't need two jobs to sustain himself. You know for a fact he needs two jobs to sustain this girl's lifestyle. I mean, the guy's buying chimichus, man. If you know it's love if the guy's buying chimichus. Holidays and fine dining, parties in Morocco, and money wired back to Asma's family. A fawning Faisal says he was a good provider. All this traveling, going back and forth twice and three times, and doing all the functions, receptions, engagement, jewelry stuff, probably I'm be under 200,000. No, that's a lot of damage! God damn, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money to be spending on your girl. Jeez, fair play to the guy if you can afford it. But if you've got to take two jobs to facilitate that, no thank you. But Faisal says they were constantly arguing. And in April, he walked into an incredible sting when he came home from a night shift at Woolies. I feel so sorry for this man. He's come home from a night shift and all he probably wants to do is just go to sleep or just relax and chill out. Yeah, it was all prepared for me, the whole crime scene. And as you can see, the place has been trashed with wine spilled everywhere. <laughs> well, this looks familiar. The unit had been ransacked. Faisal says Asma was waiting for him with this disturbing message. I entered and she just um, said to me that um, you think you are smart and you are talking to lawyers about me. Now see what I do to you. And she just ran. Oh my God, is that poo on the bed? This situation is familiar. It's very important to note that when Esma left the apartment to go to the police station with a very powerful, detailed statement, she also had two visible marks on her face where she had been struck twice. Esma's statement to police is shocking. Faisal grabbed my throat with both hands and began to squeeze tight until the point I was unable to breathe. He punched me on my left cheek and with his fist. He has started to hit me everywhere with the belt. He was so violent to me. I thought I was going to die. Now, naturally, giving a powerful statement like that and having two visible marks on your face led Faisal to be arrested by the police. In a follow-up sucker punch, Faisal says the police unwittingly helped Esma steal his things, which she had packed into these suitcases while he was being held at the station. But more importantly, Faisal's freedom was also about to be taken. Did you ever harm Esma? Never. I really loved her. After Faisal's arrest, he spent 20 grand on a lawyer and scrolled hours and hours of CCTV footage to see if he could find any evidence to help him. And luckily for Faisal, he had managed to find a one saving grace, a piece of CCTV footage that would clear him of all charges. Just remember Esma's powerful statement, and now let's see what actually happened. Esma runs from the apartment and into the lift. She presses the button, takes a few moments. Right, well let's see what's gonna happen here. A, she's gonna punch herself in the face. B, she's gonna punch herself in the face. Or C, she's gonna punch herself in the motherfucking face. Let's find out. Before the incredible Esma attack, she gives herself two uppercuts to her face and clutches her cheek. <laughs> uh, yeah. He was so violent to me. <laughs> no. She then checks her handiwork in the mirror. Seemingly satisfied with her self inflicted punishment, Asma eagerly waits for the lift door to open. I love how she's standing by the door trying to compose herself and get her ready for the performance. She takes off down the hall and into the street to call police. My face, he hit me in my face. And once I saw this, 
I felt relieved that now the justice will be served. New South Wales police dropped the assault charges but never charged his estranged wife for making a false accusation, an offence which also carries a jail term of up to seven years. I didn't know that she went to that, she's gonna go to that extent, go to the police and forget everything what I did for her. So thank God, there we go, we got a happy ending for Faisal. But I think it's quite funny how the offence she committed is worth up to seven years in jail, but there was no charges put against her, which I think is absolutely disgusting. When people fake abuse claims, it actually dampens the actual real victims out there, men and women, so that she should have served some kind of sentence in my eyes. But that was very lucky for Faisal that he actually had the CCTV footage and it worked out for him the way it did. I don't know much about this next clip. All that I know is that a woman was trying to frame her husband by hitting herself with a hammer. A friend was recording it, but a friend must have had some kind of conscience because this got leaked and was released to the police. And yet again, all charges was dropped. Let me see you do it again. It's your knee. No. <laughs> I ain't no badass. Hit yourself in the forehead. And there we have another absolute garbage person. Well that's the end of the video guys. If you like the video give it a like and if you want to see more content like this give us a sub. Catch you guys later. Take it easy. Peace. You serious?